breaking news now at 10. Three students were arrested and are now facing charges tonight in Ector County. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carson Bush Shows. And I'm Ozzie Moore in for Madeline Beerster. Now, three occurrences took place across three campuses today, resulting in three arrests at Permian High, Nimitz Middle School, and at the Alternative Learning Center. Let's go right to ABC Big 2's Rob Took outside ECISD's administration building. Now, Rob, the district has a big warning for parents tonight. Ozzie Carson, the district says administrators have been talking to parents about the severe consequences for this type of behavior. Today, three threats were made at three different ECISD campuses. Now, first, ECISD says a student at Permian High School made a threat last week that circulated on social media over the weekend. Officers say the image and the threat were part of a group chat that was supposed to be a joke but it was later airdropped throughout the school. Then after a fight at Nimitz Middle School today, a seventh grader was overheard telling another student that he was going to get a gun and shoot him. Then a 12 year old at the Alternative Learning Center was heard telling another student he would bring a gun to school tomorrow and shoot him. Now all three students were charged with a class A misdemeanor that's threat or exhibition exhibition of a weapon on a school ground. Now those students will also face disciplinary action from the district. Now ECISD tonight released a statement saying in part that all threats are taken seriously and if found to be true will result in criminal charges and school discipline. School and school district leaders continue to remind parents to please have this critical conversation with your children. Threats and violence will not be tolerated. Now, over the last several weeks, several arrests have been made across Ector County ISD. We will continue to keep you updated right here on ABC Big 2 News as we learn more about the district's next steps. Reporting live at the Ector County ISD Admin Building, Rob Tuke, ABC Big 2 News.